All right, gang, let's chat real quick. Okay, now, if you go back a few of the episodes and you check out the video when we purchased the, um, the red eye, we have a lot of people that are asking for me to do as I promised and uh, elaborate on what happened uh, at the initial dealership that we had uh, attempted to attempted to purchase that ye I think it was a neon um, Hellcat. Uh, I'll put the picture right now. Okay, so you see the picture of that vehicle. There was a dealership I went to, Giuliano's dealership. Van Dyke Dodge, and um, and I had purchased several um, leased vehicles from this particular dealership. So I had, con you know, I thought to go back to the same location where I always go. So um, I at least several vehicles there before. I did not, uh, in fact, want to lease the Hellcat because uh, I figured that. I just wanted to buy it. I don't really believe in lease vehicles. Um, as a matter of fact, the lease vehicles that I had, I actually let someone else take over those lease. My father being one of the people. Anyway, I'll give you the short and quick story. I went to the dealership. I had uh, explained what I wanted. Uh, I had no idea what these vehicles cost. Uh, um, and, and again, I went for just a regular uh, Hellcat, wide body. Um, I had sat down with my uh, sales lady. Uh, my sales lady ended up um, getting all my information. She said she would get back with me um, later that day. That day had went on and uh, passed. The very next day, I found out that she had gone on vacation. She dropped the ball. But when she went on vacation, she did have the guy, the gentleman that's six, n sitting next to her, uh, she gave him my information for him to give me a phone call. Now, this guy that sat next to her, he actually was familiar with me from um, being out in the car scene. I think he had seen me at a car show. Either I was in my, uh, either I was in my uh, vet or I was in the Hellcat Cuda, but he absolutely knew who I was. So um, I was, I was, Happy, I was upset that she dropped the ball, but I was happy that he uh, he promised me he would, uh, he would take care of things. Uh, he gave me a phone call and he said that he would get back with me uh, one to review the paperwork. Two, three days passed by, no one got back with me. So I went to the dealership, I showed up, I sat down, uh, I walked in, the, in, in there, I seen the guy, and this particular day I drove black and bloody. All of the employees had come outside to check out Black and Bloody, um, which is the G63. He had promised me, he said, I apologize, I dropped the ball. I, this, I'm taking over this, uh, um, the other lady's job by, by handling you, I'll take care of you. And he offered me an outing. Uh, it, was, it was a car show that was coming up and he advised me that one of his buddies had a particular special um, venue and, I, and, and asked me, uh, he invited me to go out and, and with them. I said, no problem, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have a problem with going, but my objective was to get this vehicle taken care of. So now, I think three, four days passed, we had that conversation. Um, I had not talked to him, a week passed, I called back, left messages, no one called me back. Um, I sent a very professional yet uh, rude email letting them know that I was dissatisfied with the services. Um, about 24 hours later, I got an email back from um, one of the, the head ladies. The lady sent me an email. She said, we apologize for what happened. Um, please send us your phone number. Can we call you? I emailed back, I said, yes, I appreciate you uh, responding to my email. Here's my contact information. Two days later passed, no one called me back. I called back, again, left a message, no response. Uh, then this time, 
uh, one of the head head guys called me back um, apologizes says he's going to get my information and he's going to uh, run it uh, he was kind of rude I sent over my bank information uh, I'm self-employed, so I sent my bank information. Um, then he uh, contacted me back and said, can I have my accountant send over information? I had my accountant send over the information. They said to me, um, we need a real accountant to send over the information. My real accountant is my real accountant. They're out of Las Vegas, and they were very upset uh, with the disrespect that they, the comment that he had made. Um, so um, I sent over, he then requested my bank account uh, records. I sent him over three bank accounts. Prior to me sending it, he said to me, but I needed to be a real bank account. I said to him, I know what a real bank account is. It was a real bank statement. So what do you mean by that? Again, it was disrespectful for the way that he did that. I let it slide, I sent him information over. Three, four days later passed, and still nothing, no contact. Contacted them again, no contact. So I just got tired of it. I ended up going to the dealership that was in my own neighborhood. I went there, walked in there, noticed that I seen black and bloody two reloaded. I initially went there. I had, I had even settled for a scat pack because I didn't even know the dealership that I went to had any Hellcats. Uh, they had several Hellcats and Red Eyes. I went there to um, Rochester Hills Jeep Dodge dealer ran into Matt, told Matt what my interest was. I wanted the car on the showroom floor. Um, he said, to, I told him about what happened, my previous experience at the other dealership. He said to me, it won't happen here. Got my information. I went home, ran my information, called me back in an hour and a half and told me to come pick up my vehicle. So they were very unprofessional with the other location. They treated me unlike a person. I was so dissatisfied. I have bought several vehicles from them before. I'll never do it again. I have a current lease that my father drives that I will turn that vehicle in, but I will not take it back to them. I'll take it to the uh, dealership where I bought my red eye. Um, I'll put Matt's business card in, in uh, the description. I'll put it here right now. I'll put their dealership in the description of this video. I'm extremely happy with them. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick story as to what happened at that other dealership because I did promise to uh, update that story. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I wanted to keep my promise and that I did. Thank you. Hey Rev, we need to um, we need to these uniforms that we have here. Yes. Tomorrow you would not be here, correct? You need to label, you need to go, no, you need to go, tomorrow's Friday, payday, right? Yeah, so no, you need to go through these. This is an extra. You need to go through these. Who did you assign this to? Nobody. You did, somebody you said. You said it's another one. No, I just won't give it to uh, I mean, you assigned it to him. If you're going to give it to him. So who are you assigned this to? Uh, what's the big guy name? Oh, old, 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 but old, couldn't fit that. Well, you had gotten two shirts? You no, had... that was the extra one. Just... I know it's that, but you said somebody else you put down on this paperwork. Oh, oh, See, oh, oh. Alante, he's, he's the only big guy. I need you to work with me here. You, like that Alante. There. So you assigned this to Alante. Okay. So you need to put a sticky note. I gave you new sticky notes. Yeah. Uh, I gave you and your desk, Alante. What if this don't fit in? Well, if it well, doesn't fit him, if it does not fit you, they're not going to take it back because it was made, paid for. If it does not fit him, well, now said, these they can take back. Okay. That's right. the extra one. They're not going to take that back. Right. If it does not fit him, then then, he, then it does not fit him. We just put it back in here and we'll just go, we'll just go to the project. Hey, what's up? Who is that? Here's the man here. Yeah. Who is the man? Charles Lowe. Charles Lowe, Mr. Lowe, how are you? Good morning, Lowe. Okay, you. you need to put a sticky note, and okay, that goes to ref. Text, I said, I need to make sure I don't want this time to get... Exactly, I appreciate you coming yeah, by. Yeah, I had to get my girl to get me out there. I like, you yes, I appreciate that. Yes, man, I got a hump, man. I need to work. And I see what's the what's the number? It should be the smaller one. That's a 15. Uh, this should be, should be like a 15. It should be. We gave it 15 away. The L. Okay, so what are those there? These are 15, 19. And what else? 17. Okay. 
Is it 17? I got a 16. It's 19 and a half. That's what it is. I don't look like that man, do you? It looks like a man. No, we gotta do get you that, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Got it, what? Got it, man. Because when the weather, you're gonna have on a t shirt at least when the weather changes. I wish it's it would be still nice. Little, yeah, it's still a little big. That's your ass still a little big. Well, you don't tuck it in your pants or something. Yeah, so that is small. So, what, what are the sizes that you got? Let me see the size. Let me just see the size thing that you got again because uh, 19 was a 4X, 18 3X, yeah. 17 yeah. is a 2X, yeah. 16 is a. That would be large, yeah. What's the bill? What's the 16? This is a 16. Yeah, yeah. This is. What size are you? This is 17. Now I'm probably thinking shit. I probably might be a medium. Small, medium. Medium. Be like a, 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 a medium. medium. These sizes, been. you said that this is a large. Medium would have been. This is 19. Yeah, this yeah. is uh, 17. And this is 16. Yeah, that's another 16. 16, 17, and 19. Yeah, that's like, like, like 15 or 14. Okay, what we do is that. Because uh, it took a little bit of a little bit of a little a little small with him. Yeah, yeah, but he was small as well, though. So yeah. it should have been the same, yeah, same size. So what, yeah. we, so what we do is just, I guess, hold that one, and then we'll go back and, and then when you bring that one back, then we'll swap them out. Let's make a note that he would be, a 15 would be, would be, would be ideal. Charles. Yeah, ideal for Charles. Mm -hmm. And that we gave him the one, and that, uh, And then you are, uh, what we do next week, we'll just swap the two. Oh, so right. 15 to get that Actually, you know what? We can do a 14. 14 yeah, that'll be thank you. That'll yeah, be a Just yeah. to be the yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it fit. It, it, yeah, it looks, right. it looks better, 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 you know? It looks a lot better. Yeah. You're, not a, you're not a big eater. So you can keep it. Keep it. Yeah. Yeah. I've got it's 48, man. Nice. I'm trying to keep it together. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm trying to eat healthy. What size is that one? Try that again. This is a 3X. Okay, that one. But if this is a 3X, this is just that photo. You want to... I want to, I mean, just try on. Because then Probably it's different than a big guy. Because when the uh, Rangers say, because they, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was it really was smaller. You think three inches larger, but it wasn't. It wasn't hanging all on him. And let's see, with this one here, we know it'll, sh it'll shrink down. Let's just see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah, we'll go with the. The other one you think about, which one you want to temporarily take? Which one you think? Uh, I better go, I think, let me see, I better. You want to take it to the restroom and check them both out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. take both of them, and that way you I'll can, be right back. Yeah, you can see which you know what it is. Mm -hmm. That right way you can side. try and you can see which route you want to go. Mm -hmm. I'll be right It'll back. be temporary anyway. Yes, sir. Okay, thanks. I want them to want to get a lot of these guys, a lot of these Once you get to the set, you got to sort out. You got to figure out which one, and then we make a note that the 14s are fitting a lot better. Okay, so for you, you all, you don't, you all today. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh man, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Yeah. Rest up, get done here. Exactly. Yeah. Appreciate that. Appreciate yes, what you've done since you've been here. You've been nothing but good, good, good words. Oh, man, here. thank you. I'm, I'm doing my best, man. For your best is is is, is exceptional because they love you. Hey, what's going on, John? Yeah, thanks a lot. Nice, nice to see you again. Too. No problem, sir. Okay. What's going on, Rev? Oh, yeah. What's going on, John? Too. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Take care, sir. Yeah. Hey, you know, uh, you know this. Yeah, uh, they, they just yelled me because yeah. I came over here to the lots to take over the Mitchell. So he met me over here, so he just yelled me that was broke up here. It's a beat. Does he tell somebody to try to beat me to it? Because the BBs are still in between. Well, this is the same BB that probably was in there from before, right? Look at the window outside. Look where that one thing outside, the devil pen. Remember, shot? remember the, remember that? Oh, the, wait, 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 no, 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 no. This one is different from upstairs. The upstairs bedroom. Okay, so we've got to replace the glass. Okay, did you go down the street for me yet? No, I'm about to go down there now. Okay, let me know. I just, I, I, I just got the lock from, uh, to take over the Mitchell, so yeah, I'm about to go down there now. And then go straight to Mitchell? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You may have told me once, but you won't fool me twice.
devil in 